In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options employee responsibility slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the option one with a different color background. Here you can add some icon and then option number, title and the detail text. When I click, it will show in the different color combination, the option two, three, option number four, five, and then the option number six. And here I've added some shadow effect and then this one, this particular employee is like it's holding all these responsibilities and bottom I've added some shadow effect as well. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this QR code and if you would like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. Let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes, select the oval shape from the basic shape, draw a shape, shape outline, make it no outline. Then I'm going to make the height and width as the height as 4.35 and the width as 9. All right, then right mouse click, go to format shape, fill make it somewhat transparent all right and make sure to align center now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d one more and this one this particular height i'm going to give as 3.25 and the width i'm going to give as 7 or to be precise i'm going to give like 9 6.95 all right and then i'm just going to put it something like this okay again make sure this is in the center all right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this particular, the big oval, hold the shift key, select the small one. Under shape format, merge shape, I'm going to make it subtract. So I end up getting a shape, something like this. Now this particular shape, I'm going to cut into six equal parts. For that, go to insert shapes, select one rectangle, draw a rectangle, a small rectangle, shape outline, no outline, give some different color. All right, and then using the this particular uh, circle as circular arrow i'm just going to rotate this one and i'm going to put it this one here press ctrl d and you can give some equal spaces or depending on the requirement you can adjust this one so this one will be third okay so one two three so i'm going to add one more here one two three four five and one more here all right so total i'm going to make it six so just align it properly okay all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is let me just put it you can just do it manually also or if you want you can add all right let it be like this okay now again i'm going to select this by pressing ctrl a okay all objects got selected go to the shape format merge shape and just say fragment all right so now i don't want all this unwanted i'm just highlighting this one and i'm deleting this one you can see here like this you can delete it one by one all right now i'm going to give the color of my choice so any color of your choice you can give for example let me just give this as red this one i'm going to give as orange this is kind of a gold color then i'm going to give a turquoise then i'm going to give this color and then the purple color all right so you can see here i've got this shape ready now uh, if you're using the latest version of PowerPoint, you can go to insert and you can click the icons. You can just add any icons of your choice. So randomly, I'm going to choose some icons. So six icons, I'm going to just add it here. And let me just add maybe this icon. Click on insert. Move this aside and I'm going to make the height and width as maybe 0.5. Okay and then go to insert shapes add oval shape draw the oval shape a small oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size 
all right let me just reduce it to 0.65 all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and go to the effects shadows and give some shadow effect here so maybe i can give this shadow effect all right and then i'm going to put it one this one the icon here before that one let me just duplicate this one add one by one onto this particular this one you can see here so here i'm just adding i'm adding this one one by one all right and then on top of this one let me just uh, bring this to front go to and just bring to front and then i'm just going to put on top of this we can see here one by one you need to just put it on top of this white oval shape all right so i'm just going to put it and here also and once this is done you need to just group it one by one sorry let me just put it again and then i'm going to group this one press ctrl g like that you need to just group it one by one now let's add uh, some title so i'm just going to put first of all the option one make it bold increase the size then go to insert text box i'm going to add title here title here again this also you can make it bold and put it here and then you can add some detailed text so equals lorem within bracket one and then i'm just going to delete the unwanted text center align reduce the size all right if you want you can give some uh, gray font and then i'm just going to put it here and now all those three things i'm just going to select and i'm going to you can make it align center press ctrl g to group it and then put it here this is one ctrl d this will be second option the third option fourth option this is the fifth and then this is the sixth option all right you can just change this one to six five so let me just do it this quickly yeah and then you can give the same color of what we have used here okay you can give the same color again i can just give the same color of the color which i've used here in this particular boxes all right and then what you can do is you can add any image or a rocket or whatever which you feel better you can add it here so go, you can go to insert pictures i'm going to say online pictures and here i'm going to type uh, man png okay so i'll get a uh, different uh, images so i'm going to use this particular image and click on insert and you can see here i have got this image inserted and then i'm just going to put it here like this as if this guy is holding these things and then send this to back all right so like this and this one you can just give the credit okay and go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape here shape outline no outline make it transparent make it black and then send this to back all right like this also you can make it and if you want you can make it some more soft edges here okay so one shadow effect also we have created now depending on the requirement we can give some basic animation effect to it